All right, what's going on YouTube? This is Andrew back with a brand new video. And this belt does probably look familiar to you. This is my uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship that has been restoned by Richard Simpson and re-leathered by Paul Martin. Um, but just wanted to show you actually the newest addition to the belt. And in case you can't tell, that's the side plates. Um, what I have here are two custom made plates. Um, they're 3D printed. Um, a gentleman on Facebook, Stephen Smith, um, offers the service. So he draws up the design for you and then uploads it to a website that does 3D printing where you can actually play them, place the order, and they get shipped directly to you. So I did that. I actually had to do it twice because I messed up the first set. Um, so you do have to, you do have to paint, the, paint them yourself. These aren't like gold plated or anything like that, but learn from my mistakes. Got a second set made and these came out really, really nice. So I just wanted to share them with you and kind of just go over the details. All right, so let's start off with the right one. So. This essentially is mimicking the Seth Rollins side plates. I kind of got the, the inspiration for this from actually another friend on Facebook, Dave Hancock. So thumbs up to him for coming up with a similar idea and I kind of had it tweaked to my liking. So pretty much, I mean, the whole general design is Seth Rollins, except obviously the middle here has my initials and my first and last name, obviously. So show you the detail. Even though these are plastic, they are just as detailed as etched metal plates would be, or ones if you got from WWE Shop more than likely. So I did paint these myself um, with a gold spray paint, and then the black is a acrylic model paint that you usually would use on model cars. And then I used a acrylic floor sealer to actually clear coat the, uh, the plates, and everything came out really good. I was very happy this go around. I was a lot more careful and learned from my mistakes as far as what to use and what not to use. Only downside to this plate is right down here. Um, at, when I was about to do the second coat of spray paint of the gold, I unfortunately, the wind kind of got the best of me and blew it off the cardboard I had it sitting on. I lost my balance, so fell on the floor on the dirt and grass. Thankfully, the plates didn't get dirty, but they did get that slight ding. So I didn't want to mess with it. It might just be chips, but it's probably a ding in the plastic, so no worries because it's at the bottom of the belt. And, can't do anything about it. I'm not gonna buy a third set, so <laughs> you know. But as you can see, these also do screw in from the front. I mean, technically they screw in from the back, just with the way the kind of bolts I used. But you could screw them in from the front. Um, they do have the holes. It's a little different from the replica plates, which oh, can only screw from the back. I'll show you that in a minute. Yeah, and then you can see on this one. Um, you do see this line going down the middle. This is unfortunately from the 3D printing process. Um, can't do anything about that. I mean, again, besides having another plate done, but I didn't think it was really worth it. And the way I have it displayed, you don't actually see the left plate because the belt to the left of it is actually blocking the view of it. And where I sit in my room, you can't, you can only see the right side anyway. So, again, it's no big deal. Uh, everything else came out just fine with it. So, as you can see. And when it comes to the uh, initials, like the font used, I'm not sure what it's called, but. Um, I didn't come up with it, Stephen actually did, and when I saw it, I took him a few minutes for it to kind of click and gel in for me, but my dad's actually a former New York City firefighter, and the, not the union that they have, but I guess the Firefighter Association actually used the same exact font, so I thought actually this was kind of fitting to, to stick with it, you know, so that was kind of cool, and yeah, let me just show you the details again, you can see everything is raised. Raised where it should be raised and everything black is kind of sunken in, just like a etched belt would be. I don't want to really, can't really hear the noise, but I just don't want to scratch up anything. But yeah, this looks very nice. I'm very, very happy with these. Um, I actually sold all the custom Superstar style plates that I had um, just for this reason. I figured why well, keep spending 80 to 100 dollars on those plates if I can only have one on one set on the belt at a time. So I figured just keeping the stock WWE ones along with these would probably make the most sense. So I did that, sold all the, and I think five sets, I sold them all off. Pretty much made all my money back and bought these instead. So it doesn't really make the, I mean, the plates aren't, they're light because they're plastic, but, um, you know, the whole belt overall isn't lighter really, at least the way it feels to me as a result. As you can see, this is how they, they fasten. So I have... 
the black screws, which I did have the vinyl line because I couldn't find those in my local hardware store. I figured the black would contrast with the belt, just uh, the plates just better. And then I bought a couple sets of washers. I got, I think these, the big one is eight millimeter. And then I got two smaller ones on top of it that are number eight screw by 32, I believe, or number eight actually, 32 matters is only for the screw threads. But, and then I got a eight by 32 cap nut to completely fast and I probably could have went with something a little different but it's gonna stick out no matter what so I just knew that these existed so I went, with it, went for those um but yeah I mean when I, if you wear the belt hole over the shoulder it can be it's a little slightly uncomfortable just because you do have this kind of digging into you but you know it is what it is I don't really just you know I keep my belts on display I don't really wear them that often anymore like I used to so yeah that's pretty much it uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, like it if you do like it. Um, leave any comments if you have any questions. I'll put all appropriate links down in the description if you're interested in possibly doing this for your own belt. Um, join the Belt Mafia Facebook page. I'll put the link for that as well. I mean, that'd be probably the best way to contact with, uh, Stephen Smith anyway to get these done. Again, big shout out to him and Dave for the design imp inspiration and, of course, Seth Rollins for being awesome because thanks to him, these even this design even happened in the first place. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you'd like to see more content. I do have a couple of more belt videos coming up probably in the next couple of months. Um, nothing nothing else right now outside of I'm waiting for my NXT women's belt and my restone spinner. Both of them actually restone to get sent out for leather. I'm just waiting for my turn to come around. And then I have a real big gold and a custom heavyweight championship real belt that's getting made right now. That might be the next one. I think that's going to be done before everything else. But probably by the end of May I should have everything back and... For the most part, my collection will probably be considered complete at that point. But I'll do another video kind of just going over everything when I have it in, you know, as, as one little collection. So stay tuned for that. Thank you again for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.